One of the sayings that I've always loved and I've used a gazillion times is faith it till you make it. I pray today that you have faith in God, that it's living a divine plan through you. I pray that you realize that life is continuous process. Have you ever watched a baseball player hit an out-of-the-park home run? And having heard the, the crack, that loud crack of the bat against the ball, you have thought a home run may be in the works. As you waited, and you watched. You may have been astounded to see the batter jogging, not running towards first base. And he took his time, and he watched the ball rocket through the air and go over the fence, having faith in his home run before the ball ever left the park. Oh, I'll tell you, faith has a way of letting us know that great things are possible. And in knowing that we go for the possibilities Mm -hmm. in life, we put aside all doubt and fear and concern, and we enjoy the answer to prayer even before it becomes evident. Faith in God is living out a divine plan. And through us, it allows us not only to do those home run experiences, but to know that one is possible in every situation. No matter how many plans you make or how many you prepare for some event, nothing will come unless you take that action. Can you imagine that that batter that hit the home run didn't have faith and just stood there at home base, didn't move? You got to put feet on your prayers. So I pray that today is a day for acting on your beliefs, a day for stepping out in faith, a day for knocking on the door, to a new and greater opportunity in your life. And sometimes you have to pray for courage to do this. That is God-given. You may begin by having an outline of a, a general plan inside of your head, but then you go to God and you say, God, this is my idea, but what's your idea? Allow it to manifest through me and lead me. Planning. It helps you to want and to expect. And then you go to God to empower you, to give fuel to your engine. And then you absolutely, in mind, through faith, plan and expect for only the best. Once you have this in mind, God takes over. You're consenting. You're saying, God help me. And in this sacred atmosphere of prayer, you offer your plan to the master planner for any revisions that are needed. And then you do what you have been guided to do to bring a forth, to bring forth the incredible results of God. You knock on the door of greater opportunity and you let those wonderful divine revisions take place in and through your life. In Luke 11 verse 9 it says knock and the door will be opened. I pray that you faith it till you make it. And right now, I pray that that door is opened and it cannot be closed in your life.